In this video tutorial, we're going to build a basic uh, game menu system that allows the menu, the menu to call back to its parent class t in order for it to change to the game state. It's kind of hard to explain, but once you see it, you see it's pretty useful to be able to call back to the parent and change states. It's a pretty common uh, architecture. So we're going to create a new ActionScript file, new project. It's going to start from scratch, so it'll make sense. From that stage, I have the document class. I want to make a new document class. Use some pre written code to speed things up. I'm going to call it main. The class will be main. I'm going to save this file also as main. And back to the main stage. Go to properties. Document class is main. I always change the frame rate to 30. And I'm going to set the size to 400 by 400. That's just a preference based on the images that I've been using. Okay. Let's get started and we'll save this also as main. There. Good start. Okay, let's add on the main menu class. It'll be action script file. We'll use the same basic startup. Title it main menu. And save it as main menu. That's important image be used for this main menu. So file back at the uh, the stage. Go file import import to library. It's my preference. Then this is the correct image I want to use for that. And it creates a symbol for that image. I'm gonna use that symbol for the main for the main menu itself. Change its name. Change it to a movie clip. Export for action script will give us a class, and then we need that pretty bad. We match this class to the new file we just made. Verify it was found. That's good. <coughs> so that's been linked. We also want one for the game itself. So action script file, same basic setup, change its name to the game. And save it as the game. Go back to a stage, import to the library, the game image for the background. Symbol 2. Hit properties by right clicking. Change its name, change the movie clip, export for action script, change the class name to match our new class. Check that. Was found. That's okay. Alright. Save that. Let's go into the main. And in here we have a function that switches between states, between the main menu state, the game state, and really any other state you want, including the, the exit feature. So let's write that function. Change state. Name it, name it whatever you want. It's just fine. We'll have to pass in the object um, to remove the current object. Let's call it that. Current state. Next state. That sounds good. So if the current state is null, which is possible, for the, usually for the very first case, um, then, then we wouldn't remove it. So we're just going to make sure we, we're going to remove it, remove child, if it's not null. Okay, now let's decode this signal we're going to send in. We're going to use text, how about? Um, first case is going to be menu, that's possible. Second case that's possible is going to be um, the game, which part game. And the third and final one, at least for now, is going to be exit. It's a pretty good start. Let's get some variables in here. Make an instance of the uh, main menu. And add that to stage. And similar process for a game. Call it G. And the game is new. Game, there we are. And that child. And this is the uh, first part of the tutorial. Next, we'll work on the actual states.